They were leaked, sort of. There's wrapping paper. How's it going? It's Rob. So Fort Park have just released a new trains for Hyperia. Kind of. Actually, they haven't. They were leaked, sort of. There's wrapping paper. They're wrapped in a see-through wrapping. So within the last sort of hour or so, the Merlin Annual Pass Holders Group have released an image seemingly showing what the new Hyperia trains are. Fort Park recently said they were going to not give anything away with the trains until opening day. They kind of wanted to keep that a surprise. Yeah, recently we've just seen an image come through of them arriving on park at least. We can't really see too much in terms of the detailing on the trains themselves. They're really similar to icons at Pleasure Beach. From the images, we can't see anything to do with the front of the train or what the design of that's going to be. If you hold on for just a minute, I'll give an indication of what I think they might look like and a few ideas and a few mock-ups of what I think they could look like. What we can see from the trains themselves is that they're predominantly gold from the bottom, which we thought they were going to be anyway. The seats themselves are seemingly black, so it's looking like it's going to be a colour scheme of gold, black and white. The white's actually been injected to the restraints himself, which I thought they were going to be black myself, but I think they look quite nice. They're obviously going to be lap bars. The fact they're covered in clear wrapping, we can't really see too much. We can see they're definitely Hyperia's trains. They've got bits of branded tape from Max, so we know it's definitely that. They have since moved. They're not in the current location they are anymore. People thought they were going to be in the new maintenance shed around the ride area. Obviously, people going around on multiple days seeing if they were going to be there or not. But images released by Fort Park today sort of showing that room confirmed to us that there's nothing in there. And they were spotted today, so at least now we know they are at Fort Park. So, so what actually does that mean? First and foremost, we're probably quite likely to see testing happen really soon. If I had to guess myself, I would guess at the weekend, maybe Saturday, Sunday, they've still got to get the trains onto the track, so that's going to take a little bit of time. But with the trains now arriving, I think it's safe to assume that testing is going to happen pretty much imminently. We know they've been sending staff up the lift hill and doing ride training on the ride itself. Next, I think it's going to be the train reveal, but I think they'll leave that sort of right up until the last minute to sort of reveal those trains. So in terms of what I think the trains are going to look like once they've been uncovered, like I say, we know the colour scheme, it's going to be gold, white and black so what they could do on the front of it I think it's quite likely that they're going to put the Fort Park logo front and centre as they do with most ride trains across the park I think that's pretty much a given I'd quite like to see them inject the wingspan icon that they've put you know across with multiple branding around the ride whether that's raised or just a vinyl transfer I think it'd be quite nice to have that rather than just sort of a flat vinyl over the top but I'm sure all will be revealed in the end and we'll just have to wait tight and see until we get a further update of what they actually look like this is only speculation in the meantime but it's good news to know that they are now on park so hopefully testing will begin really soon but yeah please be sure to like this video if you did enjoy it I'm gonna be making another one once we know a bit more about what the trains actually look like and I can give a bit more of an in-depth my predictions on opening day and a bit of a longer video but as always please make sure to subscribe if you do want to see more content like this from me in the future we've just passed 700 subscribers which is insane we've literally only passed 500 a couple of days ago so we're well and truly on the way to a thousand so thank you very much for that and i will uh, see you in the next one bye